In this video, I will give an overview of the different types of compositions you can create using the Maquetta page editor. When you first launch the Maquetta application, your screen will appear as you see here. There is a black strip across the top with various menus. On the left and right side are various palettes. The middle of the screen will contain the visual design canvas. To sketch out a user interface, use the new menu and invoke the new HTML file command. This brings up a dialog. For now, I'll accept the default options and simply click on the Create button. This brings up a blank HTML page onto which I can drag and drop widgets. First off, under Dojo Containers, I'll drag and drop a tab container widget. Notice that Maquetta displays a pop-up into which I can enter a comma-separated list uh, for the tabs that I need. I will enter North, South, East, West. Click OK, and you see that Maquetta now shows a tab container with four tabs labeled North, South, East, and West. Now I will drag two Dojo controls into the uh, canvas. I'll drop a text box into the tab container and a button into the tab container, and I'll set the text for the button to be Do It. As you can see, now let's take a step back and see and look at what happened. As you can see, the widgets have all been placed at the top left of the page and that the widgets are flowing left to right. This is because by default, Maquetta initializes in flow layout to match the behavior of HTML and CSS. Also, let's look at the outline palette. As you can see, Maquetta arranges widgets in a hierarchy. Because I dropped the text box and button inside of the tab container and the north tab is chosen, First, these widgets appear as the descendants of the tab container's first tab. Now let's create a second HTML page. I will once again invoke the new HTML file command. We'll see the dialog again. This time, however, let's notice the composition type option in the middle of the dialog. As you can see here, there are several options for composition type. The first option, desktop hi-fi page, is what we use for the page we just created. For our new page, I will choose the second option, Desktop Hi-Fi Sketch. The important word here is Sketch. I will click Create and let's see what happens. Once again, I'll drag and drop a tab container. And I'll drag and drop a text box and a button. Now notice that instead of everything jumping to the top left of the page, the widgets are all positioned at the absolute XY location where I let up the mouse. That's because Maquetta is in sketch mode, where the product acts like a simple drawing tool. Sketch mode is particularly useful in early phase quick UI sketching, where you just want to explore UI concepts and not have to go up and contend with the complexities of CSS layout. So you can see I can reposition things as I want here in absolute mode, and there's guidelines to help out with the alignment. Now once again, let's look at the uh, outline palette, and as you can see, the same thing happened as, we, as in the first example. Maquetta still uh, uh, keeps everything in a uh, hierarchy, and that allows you so that you can move the a container widget and all the children will move with it. Now let's create a third HTML page. This time I'll choose the fourth option, which is desktop lo-fi sketch, where the important word here is low fidelity. Click create, and I'll repeat what I just did there once again. I'll drag and drop a tab container. And as you can see here, I have four tabs. Then I'm going to drag and drop the text box and button widgets again. And do a little bit of shifting. OK. So now, uh, notice that the widgets are rendered with a low-fidelity CSS theme that provides a pseudo hand-drawn look and feel. Low-fidelity mode is useful in early phase UI design where you want reviewers to focus on UI workflow rather than on visual details such as colors and fonts. 
Now finally, let's create a fourth HTML page. This time I will uh, instead of choosing one of the desktop options, I'll choose one of the mobile options. I'll choose iPhone here, the last one on the list, and then click Create. Now notice that Maqueda shows a life-size replica of an iPhone. Now I will drag and drop some of the Dojo mobile widgets onto uh, the uh, canvas here. And, and it, the product operates pretty much the same as the... Um, um, Desktop, the same sort of options. Um, but I have a, a WYSIWYG, a live, uh, true WYSIWYG uh, user interface of uh, an iPhone application with a native looking mobile user interface. So, anyway, those are the composition types that you can create in Maqueda. And this concludes uh, this particular video.